Hello Guardians! In this video, I wanted to focus on the final Oryx encounter and the specific role of a plate holder and its responsibilities. I know there are a couple of different strategies with regards to holding down the plates. Regardless of the strategy, all plate holders should be doing the following. And remember, good communication is key. So make sure you and your fire team are constantly calling out events so everyone knows how the fight is progressing. First, jump on and activate your plate. Ensure that you're jumping on in the correct order. Fire several rounds into your ogre to aid the ogre DPS team. As soon as your ogres go down, watch out for your light eater knight. Two sniper shots should dispatch it real quick. Rocket launchers work well too if you don't have a good sniper handy. Wait for the runner to call out once he has the relic, then you are safe to step off your plate. Always scan for Acolyte Eyes and take in Centurion and take them out. They are the most troublesome enemies during this part of the encounter. Once the runner has the aura, priority is to group up on him or her. Alright, let's go through that again. Activate your plate. Fire several shots into your ogre to help the DPS team. Don't forget to scan for eyes and take them out quickly. Take down your knights. Wait for the runner's call out and stay alive. Don't forget to use a bubble or go invisible if things get real rough. If you're holding either of the two front plates, watch out for incoming fire from the ship. Try moving from one end of the plate to the other if you still need to hold it down. If a fire team member goes down, you can still recover. Ogre DPS team will be down one man, so everyone is going to need to help shoot their ogres. Then continue as usual. Take down the Light Eater Knight, dispatch of any Acolyte Eyes and Centurions if you can, and then group up on the runner and stay in the aura. Once Oryx has slammed his fist on the plate, everyone needs to do DPS on his chest to stagger him. Once that's done, plate holders and one member of the Ogre DPS team will need to detonate their corrupted lights. Make sure you all detonate at the same time to ensure Oryx takes full damage. That concludes the plate holder role and responsibilities. Keep playing and gain more experience and with that you should be able to hold down the plate successfully. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.